lot of people is here today, tomorrow, to think about the future of architecture. One could ask why would architects have to think again about every day about the future of architecture. I think it's because the architecture changes, dies and, and is reborn every day. There's a need to rethink the future of architecture because architecture has always been wrong about the future. It is very difficult nowadays, uh, even regarding our own lives, to, to design and think you know, where will we be living in the next couple of months, let alone to design uh, and plan cities. Nowadays, housing is just seen as a speculative uh, resource, so people actually buy houses and then don't use them. So. Um, by thinking in concepts of ownership and sharing, we actually think of how can we make best use of the housing stock or if we don't have houses, how can we redefine the relationship between who owns what and the individual and the collective and what's public and what's private. So really thinking about uh, a new way of living. What, what I'm very happy about this platform is that basically it provides a lot of young architects, promising architects to stand up and give their proposals to what they find important. And then we, the institutions, can listen and, and uh, help them lift out their message and disseminate it to a wider public, I would say. Uh, we live in a world in which um, it's very difficult to think about engineering anything anymore. And uh, this, is, you know, this is really what our practice is all about. It's about uh, not working uh, towards a perfect future, uh, but working with a very messy present and dealing with it in creative ways. Well, what I appreciate a lot about what we've seen here is that it's a lot less of it of what we've seen is about people trying to be clever and it's about clever people trying to solve problems. They've got problems in front of, in front of them and they're trying to solve them. Well, the main problem is the valuing of it. Like the, the only value that the neoliberal model is taking into account is, is economy. And to look at the economy and money as the only way how to value what is the meaning of the city is really hard. In, in Middle Ages, a uh, building that was half built was always, almost always reused because it was alway, already halfway there. Um, and the notion of, um, notion of waste uh, was wasteful. <laughs> I think that if we start living in ruins, if we start living in our own waste, so to speak, the concept of the ruin disappears. I think it's really critical that architects think about the futures to come to explore the implications of new technologies at the scale of buildings, the scale of cities, and to test them as outcomes so that we can all be more informed about which type of futures we want to have and which type of futures we should run as fast away from as possible. We decided to, to establish, uh, to, to, to start a, a research called Common Places, also called Plan Común, Public and Private. And the idea there, there is to, to work, to define a series of strategies, cases, like prototypes, like in, in drawings, that, that could be answered to, this, to the society's demands and that could be appropriated in different locations, in different countries or different cities. And at one point, I remember when we were following the proposals coming in, someone tweeted and uh, said, everything that's coming to Future Architecture Platform is about social. And it was true, practically 90% of the ideas were tagged as social. And I think it's very important uh, to notify that. Uh, Architecture for Refugees is an open source online platform because we realized in the last few months and few years that uh, information is crucial for, for further development and the access to, to information is, is very important and it makes the, the world like a more equal place. So we try to share information and to make it uh, immediately available for anyone. So many ch things are changed in geopolitical, economical, financial, technical, technological way. So there is a huge need of thinking the future of architecture again. And I think this is a wonderful venue to do it with very young people. And very young people are the best people to do this today because they, they do not pay, they have no debts to pay to the 20th century to hold the ideological and complicated frame of that century. So I think that's a very good point to start rethinking the future of architecture.